Hey everybody out there, today for you guys we are going to be opening up Structure Deck Soul Burner. This Structure Deck I feel like is one of the best Structure Decks in recent memory, if not a long bloody time. Now there's multiple reasons for that, okay? Uh, I'm seeing these Structure Decks being sold for $10 and $15 and $20. Uh, originally, mostly since they're sold out and very hard to come by, I'm seeing $15 to twenty dollars for these structure decks a piece. Uh, I know for a fact uh, when this structure deck got released uh, last week, uh, we got I think four cases of this structure deck. I think four or five of them, and within twenty four hours, we were completely sold out. Twenty four hours. Ridiculous. My locals. That's what happened. I posted the picture on, on YouTube last week of literally all the boxes we got and they were sold out in 24 hours. I have never seen a structure deck sell out that quickly. There's been good structure decks in the past. You have the dinosaur structure deck, ABCs, Monarchs, but by far I think this has amazing reprints and the deck is playable. It is a playable, a cheap, good, viable, competitive deck. Which is pretty good, and it could be it's could be considered one of the best decks of the format as well. So the gentleman on the box is actually from the Link uh, Reigns series. I'm catching up to the series recently, but uh, I don't know his name off the top of my head, so I do apologize. But let's talk about reprints in this set very quickly, and then we'll get into the opening. So you get Gozen Match reprint, which is always welcome. You get Ash Blossom and Joy Spring reprint, which is literally the chase card of the set, and pretty much by itself, to some degree, I've been seeing go for eight to ten dollars. So pretty much that's paying off your structure deck. Amazing. Uh, on top of that, you also get a little known reprint that nobody's really hyping up, and I understand why, but it's still a good reprint, which is Doggeron the Mad Flame Kaiju reprint, which has had a hollow and a rare reprint, and is always maintained a value of around three to six dollars. I've seen. So, Kaiju reprints, Ash Blossom, Gozen reprints, three good reprints right there that can pretty much for itself pay for your structure deck, and then you get a competitive deck on top of that. What more can you ask for? But let's read the, uh, the back here. I always try to like read these in an awesome epic voice. Straight from the animated series to real life, Soul Burner's Salomon Great deck from Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains offers a monster a new lease on life, which is reincarnation strategy. Salomon Great powers up its boss monsters in a unique way by sending your first copy of a Salomon Great boss monster to the graveyard to summon your second copy. The new one is granted an extra ability far beyond what it had in its first life. So, yes, reincarnation strategies. But let us open this bad boy up here and get into it. I bought three of these, luckily, uh, because my locals um, is amazing at Island Games. Uh, we pretty much honored pre-orders and pretty much anyone that came to our locals, uh, so we did not jack the price up. We sold these at $10 a pop, which is probably the reason they sold like freaking hotcakes. Um, literally, it was just like, do you got this? Like. For three days. Do you have the Salomon Great Structure Deck? Do you have the Salomon Great Structure Deck? Do you have the Salomon? No, no, we're sold out. We sold out within the first, like, couple of hours. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, the only real card you need right now, besides stuff out of the recent set, is you need Lady Debugs, which are you can easily get. I think they're like $10 a piece right now, maybe. But you can pick those up off the, the old Structure Deck if you can still find them. So overall, it's very easy to find the stuff that you need. So as you see here, we have the play map, you got the little kitty, you got the, I don't I think it's the horse, and then you got, I forget what you are, but yes. The problem I find with this, this deck, as I continue to talk here, is one little problem. And that is the fact that Call by the Haunted, Ash Blossom, and Ghost Bell, all three of those cards, really can hurt this deck. The deck's good, it is competitive, but they get hurt by those three cards. So if you're wondering what to side deck against Salomon Great, I'm gonna tell you right now, and what to expect if you're a Salomon Great player, expect Ash, Call, Ghost Bell, and maybe some other cards out there. But those three is what I saw when I went to and played at 
Richmond Regionals, and that's what I side decked into, and it worked every time against Salomon Greats because it was everywhere. Uh, but you have your strategy. I want to see what they're promoting. The Salomon Greats stuff that's off, um, Savage Strike, which that's the funny thing about this deck. Besides the hollows out of the structure deck, everything's commons and raiders. Like, it's ridiculous how good that is. You got Pancratops and some stuff we're talking about in Soul Fusion. Lady Debug is a necessary. Maybe Buffalon if you want to play around with it. Definitely not Phoenix. <laughs> but yeah, they talk about the Ash Blossom reprint and all that. So uh, I'm going to put this up because I want to use my Sneak Peek playmat. So let's open this up. So as you guys know for Duel Links, um, I may do a Duel Links deck profile of my Blue Eyes deck that I built. Uh, which is something I'm going to be taking to a local tournament recently. We're having a Duel Links tournament at Island Games this coming Saturday at 12 noon. If you guys want to hang out. Uh, but they always change the protagonist. So it's been Joey, Paiba, Jaden, and now it's Yusei for the first time, I think. But uh, yeah, put that over here. I use these as tokens. I love it. So we got Salomon Great Heat Leo, which is your big guy. Salomon Great Mer, Mer Justello. Mirage Stallio. I think that's pronounced that Magistello. Salomon Great Balixia. Ba Balixia. Balinx. I'm trying to pronounce them properly, guys, for once. Then we get Salomon Great Gazelle, which is you use as a three of. Salomon Great Spiny, which is a I think two or three of it from correctly. Uh, then we have their searcher for the deck. Which is Salomon Great Circus Circle, which is a quick play searcher and has multiple uses, but very, very good card. Then we have Salomon Great Roar, which is I've seen I saw this played at regionals probably because people were experimenting with it, but it's pretty much a solemn judgment for Salomon Greats. Which is pretty cool. Uh, being a counter trap, stuff like that. Pretty dang cool in my book, so I like that. Then I think we have just some common Salomon Greats that I have not seen in the main set, so we'll go over these as well. Salomon Great Raccoon, which I think is new. Salomon Great Mole, which is new. Salomon Great Fowl, which I think is a peacock. And then Salomon Great Beat Bison. So I think these are all the new cards that you get in here. Uh, unless I see something else, I'll put it to the side. Wow. I'm like looking at some of these card reprints. They're so good. So good. Then we have uh, Salomon Great Mir as a one of. Salomon Great Foxy, which pretty good card. Salomon Great Falco. Salomon Great Jack Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguar. Salomon Great Wolverine. Ooh, Wolverine. Uh, Salomon Great Paror. Salomon Great Foxy. Is this? No, wait, that's Foxy, and this is Foxer. So Foxy and Foxer. Dan, this is actually a pretty good reprint too. Because uh, this card's actually used in like... I've used this in other random decks just for... As a tech. True King... Adamans the Vasher. True King Agnimizod the Vanisher. The Van Vanisher. I just call him Vanisher. Pretty good reprint there. And then the Doggering Kaiju reprint. Two decent reprints. I'm not going to complain. Uh, Flame Dog. <laughs> Pavu the Fire Fencing Ferret. Please, somebody say they got that core, the Avatar reference. Infernoid for the burn damage, man. Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs! Reprint, man. Oh, it's so weird seeing it as a common, because I've seen it in like a hollow form for, what, two years now? So it's so weird, but definitely I will use these for some deck. Uh, Red Resonator, uh, good card. Uh, Volcanic Shell, good card. Uh, Four Mud Skipper. I saw this played at regionals. I do not know what the heck this card does. Another volcanic shell, which is out of order. Salomon Great Claw, which is a equip spell. Salomon Great Sanctuary, which is their life point gainer field spell. Uh, Will of the Salomon Greats, which I believe is a three of as well. I think this is a two or three of. Uh, Monster Reincarnation. Circle of the Fire Kings. Wow. Th does this mean I'm gonna get Fire King support eventually? Transmodify, it's gotten multiple reprints, but always welcome. Link Bound, always welcome reprint. Not a, not a great card, it's a pretty good card, but I don't, eh. 
Um, I think it was a super in one of the recent sets, but Magical Planner is a pretty good reprint. It's got reprinted as a secret super. I think recently it got reprinted as a super again, but always a good reprint because it's always retained some type of value as like a dollar or something. Then for traps, sell them in Great Rage, sell them in Great Gift, Transmodify. Threatening War reprints are always welcome because it's a good card. Break off Trap Hole. Backfire with Chop Man. Uh, Gozuki. And then we get Salomon Great Heat Leo, Flame Administrator, and Doolittle Chimera. So, overall, I'm going to say this. If you can find these Structure Decks, buy them. Again, if you can find these Structure Decks, buy them. This is a cheap deck to build for the most part, a good deck to build for the most part. It's going to be getting support in the future. Um, I will definitely be playing this deck and I will try to get a deck profile to you guys as soon as possible. Um, but I am in the process of moving. I have a lot of my Yu-Gi-Oh product and things packed up. So when I do get it unpacked, expect a deck profile for, from me. Also, guys, if you'd like to support the channel, definitely check out Patreon. Uh, we would love to have the support trying to help my editor out so we can keep editing videos and keep making good quality content. Uh, we're also in the process of getting a green screen, so expect that coming. So trying to invigorate the channel and keep improving it, guys, and I hope to see you guys later. So take care, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.